So I'm convinced that YouTube is literally trolling the shit out of me. Because in the last however many days on YouTube, I have gained almost 200 subscribers and I've lost about 120 of them. Even more, probably. I can't math, so who fucking knows. But I am dead serious. It is that bad. I don't know if YouTube is clearing out inactive subscribers, which that might be because I have a lot of inactive subscribers in case you guys haven't noticed. Like if active. Is that working? No? Okay. But yeah, I'm just convinced YouTube is trolling the shit out of me because no one else is dealing with this besides me unless someone's botting me fake subscribers and then they all get taken off by YouTube. Like, I have no idea what's going on and honestly, it's the most unmotivating thing ever when you want to succeed so bad when it comes to YouTube. So, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to complain about it because I do have a lot of subscribers already and I'm completely thankful for that. I really am. So I have a lot more than a lot of people I know anyways in the first place. So I shouldn't even be complaining about this. But like I said, it's just really unmotivating and it hurts when you work for something really, really hard and it gets taken away from you kind of like that. So just my mindset or opinion on it, I guess. On the topic of trolling, I got an email today, and I very rarely check my emails or read them through, but I got one from Apple, the well-known company everyone has a device from. Apple. Well, mostly everybody. There's, you know, the Android users and whatnot. So, I opened this email, and it looked completely legit, okay? So I opened it, it was formatted like an Apple email, it had copyrighted by Apple written on it, it was completely legit, or so I thought. So I clicked on this email because it said someone had logged into your account on a certain iPhone, and I have no idea who owns an iPhone 5 anymore that I know personally, so I, I got really confused. And I was like, oh my gosh, someone logged into my account and I have no idea who they are. So I was a little, was a little panicky because my debit card is on that thing. But I texted a friend that could possibly have an iPhone 5 and they didn't even reply because I think their phone is even broken. That's pretty shitty. So I go to this email, click on the link to review my settings and possibly change a few. It was completely legit. The only odd thing was the URL was a tad different. And I was like, oh, whatever. I just didn't really think anything of it. I was also at work, so it's not like I could focus really hard on what I was doing on my phone because I'm used to, supposed to be, you know, fucking working. So if Nathan's mom and stepdad are watching this right now I was completely working see the look on my face I was working really hard oh you blow I go to this page it looks completely like the Apple login page and I logged in with my account don't do that though don't do that it had all my information and whatnot nothing looked out of the ordinary and then I went to go save my information because I thought, you know, if it has this information, that's all the information I want it to. There's nothing that they could steal from, like, my debit card didn't look like it was on the account. Like, it just looked like a pretty bare account. My name, my email, like, you know, where I live, which is kind of sketchy. But it had that kind of information. There was nothing really, really important on it. Like, whatever, I'll just save these settings. If someone gets into my account, whatever, I'll just change my password later. I'll figure it out. Once I hit the save button, it actually wouldn't let me save any of the information unless I put a credit card number in the fields, which was really not right at all whatsoever. So if, it, if you got that email, I really hope you didn't go put a credit card in that field because you're probably getting gypped right now. Oh, oh, oh! I found that really sketchy. I hit cancel. I went to the actual Apple website itself, logged into my account, and my, my credit card was already there. So they, my Apple account already has that information. I didn't need to put it in again. So that was really sketchy, and if I would have put my card number in there, I could have gotten scammed for a lot of money. I mean, like, the whole time I was kind of skeptical of it, because things like that come through your email all the time. The URL was a little different, and the funny thing is, when I actually clicked the URL, it took me to some sort of Japanese online grocery store. It was really 
freaking weird. I guess you could say the moral of the story is don't believe everything that rolls through your email. Make sure it's 100% real before you put any sort of payment information in anywhere. Because if I would have put my credit card number in there, I could have been really screwed because they could have my password, my email to everything on that account. So I'm glad I clued in. I changed my password. I took my debit card off of it and it's all good now. So yeah, just be careful on what you get through your emails. Just make sure everything is 100% legit and yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the freaking next one.